Hello everyone, my name is uh, Francisco Ortega from the School of Sports Science, University of Granada in Spain. I'm also affiliated to Karolinska Institute in Sweden. And I have the great opportunity to share with a broader audience of some of the major findings of our paper, recently published in uh, my opinion proceeding. In this paper I had the opportunity to work with some of the top epidemiologists such as Professor Blair and Dr. Sui and also well-known cardiologist uh, Dr. Lavi. Uh, we all together came to the conclusion that there were some fundamental questions about obesity that there were still unanswered. And one of these, probably the main question dealt with in this paper was what does obesity really mean? Well, while most of the researchers would probably say that obesity is an excess of adiposity, some other could say that why not is an excess of body weight? Because actually, most of the current evidence about obesity and disease are based on BMI data. So, we actually reviewed the literature to see if there were any studies exactly comparing uh, BMI with the Excel accurate measure of uh, adiposity and which of them was a stronger predictor of cardiovascular disease mortality. And we didn't find such evidence. So, we set up this uh, present study to try to answer that question. And uh, again, what more, most of people could expect, actually we found that a very high amount of BMI was a stronger predictor, significantly stronger predictor than to have a very high amount of adiposity. So there actually were 60,000 people with all the measurement of BMI and adiposity markers, and 30,000 of them were measured with this gold standard measure. So when we did uh, <coughs> some uh, separate analysis in this subsample with all, only the weighted, uh, weighted, uh, hydrostatic weighted measurement, actually the results were identical. So it is a very powerful uh, data set with 30,000 people follow for, following up for 15 years and uh, showing that the BMI, the very simple, cheap, and fast to measure BMI was a stronger, significantly stronger predictor than accurate measure of body uh, fat. And um, <coughs> we also observed that uh, not only a very high amount of fat mass was associated with a high mortality, but a very high amount of fat-free mass or lean mass was also a strong predictor, significant predictor of higher cardiovascular disease mortality. And probably that's why BMI, which is a combination of a very high fat mass plus a very high uh, fat free mass, that's BMI. That is a stronger predictor than when we study separate components of high fat mass and high fat free mass. And in the present paper, we give some of the physiological explanation why we think that high fat mass is associated with cardiovascular disease, but it's quite well known, many of them, but also why very high fat free mass is, can be associated with a higher risk of cardiovascular disease mortality. So both together, high fat mass plus high fat free mass make a very high BMI, and BMI was a stronger predictor in this study of cardiovascular disease mortality. So as a take home message is, we could say first, that this paper provides a very strong support for continuing using BMI in an epidemiological level because it has shown to be a stronger predictor than very accurate measure of body composition separately. And we provide some of physiological explanation why we think this uh, result could be so. But also, if the researchers are about to use some measurement of uh, adiposity, then we observed that use fat mass index instead of body fat percentage was a stronger predictor of cardiovascular disease mortality. So it seemed that normalizing the amount of fat by height could be a better idea than normalizing the amount of fat by body weight. And also, as a further take home message is, is that uh, even if going to the gym and train over muscle and build a little bit larger muscles and be fitter can be a good idea. A very, very high amount of fat-free mass could also be a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. And uh, when we say a very high fat-free mass, we're talking, for instance, about more than 80 kilos in a month 
of fat free mass, so it's a very large amount, and that seems to be related with higher cardiovascular disease. Finally, we come back to the original question of what does obesity really mean, and our data support that obesity might mean an excess of body weight, which includes both high fat mass but also high fat free mass, and maybe not so much only focus on adiposity, but the whole body weight normalizing by height, which is actually what the BMI does, could be the stronger predictor of cardiovascular disease mortality. We hope you enjoy your paper and your clinic proceeding, and thank you very much. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.